hello ccm course uh level 2 part 7 where we will be exporting our character from blender to substance painter so let's get started okay so first of all we have to just hide all the things that we don't want it so i just select all the extra things and also i hide the hairs because i don't want it exported so we will be shedding our hairs in inside blender so we don't need that and after that as you can see all of my object is having some modifiers but we don't have to have any modifiers so for that select all right click convert it to mesh and in this way you can just apply all the modifiers at one click now go to the UV and select all in object mode select all in U to unwrap it again to just update your unwrap and i'll press the n key and as you can see i am having the uh, uv pack master add-on which is allowing me to pack it from here if you uh, don't have this so you can just simply click on uv and you can click on pack iceland and it will work as the same but this add-on is a little more good to it so it can do it a little better so that's why i'm using this add-on the link of this add-on is in the description so you can check it from there okay so we have uh, unwrapped all the character and as you can see all my uh, all of my objects is having the same material so that's what we wanted because uh, our uv is in the same canvas and we don't want it uh, to have different materials so all i can do is i can select all f4 and go to the export or just go to the file and click on export fbx or obj you can do both uh, both work the same but I like to uh, go with FBX because I use unity a lot and I uh, most of the <coughs> files I export for the unity so I, I use the FBX one okay so here are a few settings that I wanna export is that at, at the default you will be getting like some of like these these type of options but what you can do is simply you can click on selected object so we'll be exporting just the selected object and then just click on other shift uh, keep pressing the shift and click on mesh and click on empty because sometimes we need empty to be exported and like we have some grouping with the empties and other situation uh, the back animation is by default turned off so you can just uh, turn on so you can just turn off this thing you can leave the default setting like this uh, one more thing that I can show you is you can click on the plus key and you can rename and you can make an preset so if I just press on uh, click for export and press ok so as you can see all the options that I did we can make a preset of it so as you can see we are having this preset now and what you can do is next time if you want it you can just simply export and go with the same setting so you can find the preset here and you can simply export it so I selected desktop and export it and as you can see we'll get a file here and now let's just open our substance painter and now what we can simply do is we can go to the uh, desktop and you can drag your file here or otherwise you can simply click on file new and you can select your fbx from here you can open that and you can make the uh, resolution to up to 2k for a better view and let's click on ok okay so our character has been imported with the left and shift key you can go to the front view and with the f6 actually you can uh, get the orthographic view that you want it something like this and now uh, the last thing with what we can do is we can pack this object so I will press on Control shift B so you will get this option or otherwise you can click on edit and back mesh maps so we'll, you will get the same thing we need the 2k resolution for this one we have to hide the ID map because we don't mean it and you can simply click on back selected texture and you will back will start it will take some time uh, depending on your PC specs your PC performance so if it's good it will take less time or as you can see I'm having a 
Core i5 11GP. So it's taking that much time. Currently, I don't have graphics card, so maybe the time is a little more when I uh, when I will be when I get a graphics card, then it will take less time. Okay, so my backing is done. I click on OK and as you can see it's completely working so uh thank you so much for watching this was for this video in the next video we will be texturing this character so stay tuned with us and subscribe for more videos and for now bye